Hello, everybody. You're online. I'm live. Are we, we went live. Oh, she went live and she surprised us. Hello. <laughs> she just fucking. This she is just fucking utterly took us insane live. productions. The, the insane asylum. I'm with stuck Mark in a and book Joe. And I can't get out. The, they are playing with the Kindle Fire. <laughs> yes, it's Joe's he's, Kindle he's Fire. He's destroying my Kindle Fire, motherfucker. I've got books so that I can learn how to do a better podcast. Now he's fucking around in my Amazon Prime account. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm going to order you know, a movie from You know, I got to tell you something. Hello, hello universe or, or world or whatever you come from. or you know, This is... Utterly Insane's Productions, Insane Asylum. We're back on track. Hopefully, we sound pretty good today. Uh, we had some know, mic issues right. last week. Joe has Joe has issues with the mics. I have issues with you. So, so uh, I don't know. I can't see anybody right now because I don't have Facebook open. I gotta figure out how to. Okay, that's muted. Right. Okay. Oh, we are live. Yeah, she fucking took me by surprise, man. Yeah, well, that's your wife. Well, you said you were starting in twenty minutes at ten after, so hey, you weren't prepared. So you weren't prepared. Not Hi, my Ashley. problem. Ashley, you're fine. Even Joy out. says hi. Listen to that. Did you see that? Even the puppy said hi. Get in there. Wait out. See, see there's the puppy. You can see I that my camera. I muted over here. I made sure I muted it before I opened it. Never mind, because obviously you don't get what I was saying. Okay. I got, I got, a, I got. Anyway, this is the insane asylum. I'm Joe, and we we haven't discovered who this is yet. Oh, I'm, wait a minute. I'm somebody. I thought you were Jesus Christ and that was God. Okay, I'm Jesus Christ, this is God. You sure I don't, you don't want me to be Charles Manson today? I can do that to you. <laughs> anyhow, we are coming to you live from Watertown, Wisconsin, and it is snowing outside. Yes, you can see Joy. She's on camera over by Tanya. That is Timber Joy, our purebred Siberian Husky mascot. And she's got herself a bottle. All right. Anyway, I got something to tell you. We took a trip a couple of weeks ago. I think, or well, a few weeks back, we were taking a trip, and I think we we're going to see my daughter Deborah for breakfast. Was that for the trip? No, to... we were on our way down to get Ashley. Oh, okay. We were on our way to go get Ashley. And I swear to God, and I'm not kidding you. This is this is fucking true, man. I was, was fucking nuts. It wasn't yesterday. It was a week ago. Yet. Friday. He was high on something. No, I wasn't. No, I was, he wasn't. But, you know, I wasn't that out of my fucking mind, man. She bumped it again. Anyway, we got behind this fucking truck. Okay. And and I think if I remember right, it was a garbage truck. I don't know. I was, I was, it, it was fucked up, man. I swear to God, fucking aliens were talking to me. I'm not fucking shitting you. I was saying it the whole time, I think. <laughs> fucking aliens and UFOs and they were coming to get me. I swear to God. You know the, the back of the truck, how it has those lights? This this motherfucker had all different colors of lights and it was going in fucked up weird patterns, man. The fucking patterns were talking Okay, the different colors were in your mind because I only no, saw one color. Colors, man. It was like blue, green, yellows. I only saw orange. No, there was blue, greens, yellows. <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. Hi, Bill. And we were behind this motherfucker <laughs> for almost two hours. Thank you. I we all like the backdrop hey, too. Bill. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> we got more coming eventually down the road. That's going to change too on and off. We're going to switch them in. We and have off. what three or four oh, of them God. now. So, but yeah, we got. We got all kinds of ideas coming. We're Actually, just right now, I an think audio problem. I have, and... I have an idea. Uh oh. Right now, now I'd we're like, all in fucking I'd trouble. I'd like whoever's watching to let us know how they how we sound because I don't have sound on. You don't have sound on. She don't have sound on. Therefore, we don't know how it sounds. Yeah, we got to get that 
that mic. Uh, and Joe has been having a lot of issues with freaking mics, so we're trying to make sure our audio is fine. So if you can hear us, say something. Yep. You can just type something. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> okay, well, well, I'll type something. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say something. I said something. Okay. Anyway, what Spelling are we talking about this guy this week, guys? Uh, well, last week we were going to talk about the zombie virus. I mean, coronavirus. Ashley says it sounds good to her. All right. Are we loud awesome. enough? Yeah, I have. And, I, uh, I, uh, but before we get to that, because that's a that's a pretty big subject right now. Okay, it's a and, very and big that, subject right now because the the who had um, finally des- decided to make it a uh, worldwide epidemic. Yeah, well, the who? World I... Health Organization. Oh, who? because it's, it's already uh, had a couple cases not here. The, not the, but well, they're ma- but they're mainly in China. But I wanted to touch there's... on a couple other subjects before that. But go ahead. There's. Uh, I remember there's there's like seven thousand people now in China infected, and there's been two hundred and seven deaths from it in China. There's seven cases in the United States that have been discovered, and one of the particular cases has um, been proven to be uh, human to human contact. So it, it moved from human to extremely human. Extremely contagious, no cure, and. In other, w- in other words, if you that, feel like you got the flu, you need to go in and get tested. No, no. Well, the, I, I, I haven't heard what the, the symptoms are. They haven't figured anything totally out so, yet, how it gets contracted, uh, how it's passed from one individual to another, if it's airborne, if it's human contact, if it's bodily fluids. Uh, symptoms of the coronavirus. Cold or flu-like symptoms. In other words, okay. if you feel like you got the cold, a cold, just a common cold or the flu, I suggest you go in and get tested just to make sure that you don't have the coronavirus or that they can catch it early and possibly. But what if it's you know? I mean, it's, it, uh, it's the chances of somebody like you, me, or Mark or us getting it are pretty slim. You'd have to because it originated in China. Okay, the chances of any of us are getting it as slim right now then why is there seven cases in the united states even if it originated they travel it doesn't fucking matter they traveled to china if they didn't isolate those people that they found infected here after they got back from traveling then we could all be fucked because it would be an epidemic it starts here and it starts spreading, and then it's going to get here, and then there's oh, no wow. way to contain it. You said there were 270 <clears throat> in China. There's actually about 858 people have died from Middle so, East Respiratory Syndrome, so which it's appeared going, in it, 2012. It's going, it's killing pretty fast. But yeah. that could also, it could have been around for a while, and nobody well, knew it. There's another thing um, that that was posted on Facebook that night. Jennifer posted. It's kind of interesting. Uh, anybody remember the game Resident Evil? The game? Yes. Yeah. yes. And it became a movie. Remember the Umbrella Corporation? Yes. Remember their symbol? Shaped like an umbrella. Red and white. Yes. There's a company over in uh, China that had been studying this virus. Their symbol looks just like the Umbrella Corporation symbol, only it's blue and white. Oh, wow. And where do you think some of that stuff comes from sometimes? When and, people come up with ideas for games and movies. Hang on. No, uh, their symbol came after the game. Are you sure? Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, here's here's another little uh, tidbit about that. Um, there's been a lot of civil unrest in China. Civilians have been revolting against the government. And then all of a sudden, poof, this virus comes about. Yeah, the, the government 
being it's a, a communist. It's a conspiracy theory, okay? The I'm government being a, a okay, yeah. here's the idea, the government being a, a communist conspiracy country, theory is they unleashed, the they unleashed a, a bug. Yeah. Okay, well, according to WebMD, coronaviruses were first identified in the 1960s, but we don't know where they come from. They get their name from their crown-like shape. Sometimes, but not often, a coronavirus can infect both animals and humans. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Man-made. Well, see, the thing is, though, um, this particular one, the, the, the coronavirus, the Wuhan coronavirus, they're believing it actually originated in a live animal. This is, this is how... Because this is how where it started. it started at, where it started at in China is is that marketplace where they actually sell live dogs and and well, monkeys and this and is this is a, like this that. is also another conspiracy theory. This is how these governments control the population by unleashing shit like this. These well, viruses no, and saying, stuff like that. You're saying governments? Yeah, okay. governments. So yeah, I guess I guess think this, about it. In the foreign sense, even the our government and and some conspiracy theories have, on, have done on. things to try to comp- control the population. In a, in a, in a, in a Ash says she's hearing a little bit of static. She's starting to hear a little bit of static. So I don't know what that is. Could be his talking. It could be Facebook too. Could be his talking. Anyway, <laughs> in a true democracy. The people are the government, and the ones I'm pretty that sure I are all the doing cameras and turn them off to not doing what need to be done in the in the the governmental realm are the representatives of the people that were elected and put in there. Problem being is because we are about to lose our democracy. We're at the end of the of our democracy, getting ready to become an oligarchy dictatorship. Thanks to the complacency and willingness of the Republicans. Well, let's not get into the politics. But what of I, you know, you kind of brought it up. I'm trying to explain to you. I'm just saying. In a true democracy, the people are the ones that are supposed to be in control. In China, let me a communist, make a quick comment to what you that's just communism. said. That's communism. The communism, the government, or the people that were elected, are now the sole government and they make the decisions regardless of what the people want and if the people want to vote them out they can't because there's no votes there's no electing your representative anymore. wow that it's sucks. just like in in um Look what happened in russia, russia. Yeah. putin's putin's in, yeah, in control he's president that. forever now and that's, that's because what, that's his government the, up and quit the, on that's him that's what the, the orange clown here in the united quit. states wants to do yeah he's trying to He's trying to get anyway, everybody pissed off enough to where they just up and quit. If we keep about this, all we're going to do is piss off a lot of people. Yeah. Because nobody's going to agree with our point. Well, there's very few people left in this world that are probably going to agree to the truth. You know, of what's happening. And that's, what, that's very unfortunate. Yeah. You know. But anyway. I mean, I don't even feel safe walking around anymore like I did back in the 70s and yeah. the 80s. You can't. Where... I, I, I felt safe walking around in any fucking neighborhood and I didn't give a rat's ass. But nowadays, I don't even feel safe walking around this fucking small town that I live in today. And I hate to say that because this is a just, community. it's a nice little it's small town. Well, town. I'm not talking about the community. I feel safe in this little community. I know a few people here. But, and you this know, is private and, property. And, and, and I'm out, when I'm out in this community, yeah. I'm walking my dog and people see my dog, they think wolf and they leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah, well, they're stupid to think. But anyway, back on topic. I saw a couple of articles. I'm not sure. I wanted to see, figure out what this is. Do you know who who this is first to figure RAF? out? Yeah, who's what's RAF? That's our Air Force. That's our Air Force. Yeah, our the United States is Air Force. Okay. There, there. This article is in the daily on the Daily Star. Okay, on under weird news, UFO, blah blah blah, on a website. Okay, it, it's a UK site, obviously. But anyway, they're to unseal UFO files with records to go online within the first quarter of 2020. That means they've only got a couple of months left. 
February, the rest of February and all of March to get this stuff online. But the Air Force closed down its UFO desk, desk in 2009, but plans to declassify its archives and have been criticized by alien hunters who point out they said they had released everything before. So apparently they never released everything no. before, like they said. So they lied are to you, you again. You, they say they declassified thing? everything and then they turn around and lie to you again and say, oh, there's more. Now it says Bill joined. Hi, Bill. Again. <laughs> you know, that's kind of uh, fucked up, though. You know, you no, think it, is, about it. They, it, it also proves that the government turned around and lied to you again. They said, this is it. Here, we're releasing all this alien UFO files. Oh, wait, there's more. And we're going to. You know, un declassify it and stuff. Okay, now, do you truly think the government, as we call it now, because people don't actually see us as being the government and them being, and the, and the, the others being, uh, being the employees of, of us? Uh, do you really truly think they're going to actually release things like that? Well, no, this is this isn't. You were wrong. This is is this was the UK the UK government, not the, not the, okay. RAF. It, it, it's an air force. Oh, that's the, the Royal, Royal air, air force. force. Okay. That's England. So yeah, that would be English. The English air force. Well, England's. I wonder. I wonder how interesting. That. Yeah, but still. That's the one that carries but the, either way, our air force, their air force. Think about it. Who's well, up? Our Navy, in, who's up in the? the Navy those Army Air Force pilots some, are. Some video. Yeah, but those Air Force pilots are up in the sky all the time. Wouldn't it be interesting to find out what has been classified for so long, what they've really seen? You know, it's been kept a secret for so long. Makes you wonder. Think about it. I mean, I have thought about you it. can't see as much as they see when they're up there traveling no. as these these mock speeds and and you know going places that you, we can't go physically without that equipment. You know, they're going to see this shit, and when they report it, oh, don't say nothing. If you say something, well, you're going to get uh, demoted. You're going to get your ranks taken away. You're going to get your rights taken away. Oh, wait. Maybe we're going to go and do something to your kid or your wife, you know, because they get threats, you know, because they did Area 51. That's what we heard out of some of those retired people from there that used to work there, that if they spoke, that part of it was that, that, that they signed these contracts and yeah, that, 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 that if they spoke to something, that, that their family was going to be in threats or that <coughs> something was going to happen. The thing is, Bob and, Lazar, he, he's, one, he's the one, the main one that everybody knows about who's who's actually talked and done interviews. Right, but, uh, you know... It, and it, he has confirmed. I'd love to, oh. I'd love to know what was what, what, me. what's going to be declassified. He has confirmed that, that, that there are UFOs, that there are alien craft, that our government had at Area 51, that well, they were... Like they were said. Reverse engineering. It'd be pretty fucking stupid to think we're the only ones in existence. Well, you know, it's pretty fucking naive. Yeah, that too. But the funny thing is, now, you gotta think about this, too. Everybody knows about Roswell. Everybody knows about 1947 crash. Okay? Mm hmm Because that's that's kind of a common knowledge thing anymore. Because, there was, you know, the smallest kids fucking. Oh well, yeah. yeah. Plus, plus, I mean, they, they, they made that are, place super famous after. Oh, we're gonna rush the place and see what's really in there. What but what joke they that don't turned out to be. What they don't learn is the fact that it was a new equipment, a new radar testing that that brought this aircraft <laughs> down. And another thing they don't learn is the fact that it wasn't just one. It was three flying saucers that our Air Force, and I'm not sure, actually, they claim they were testing this new radar equipment. I'm thinking they were testing a new weapon. Sonar. And they brought these ships down and captured them. The one that hit in New Mexico in Roswell, um, on that farmer's that's ranch. Been a, that's that's been a, the one that's the most most uh, um, 
known and famous one because of the fact that General Ramey's, who was in charge and sending his lieutenants out there I've to discover it, before. he's the one that released that it was a, a UFO. Were the originally. people the people that were and running Roswell or Area Fifty One no, brought them no, down? You gotta think, but you got to think of it this way. Okay? You you really got to think of it this way. The reason we have these aircraft or these ships to reverse engineer is because the other two didn't disintegrate on impact. They didn't come down with with a hard enough thud to disintegrate. So we were able to capture them, capture the, the creatures inside, and take the ships to be looked at, to be reverse engineered. So that's where you, cell phones come from. Did you ever fiber did you ever see that? Did you ever see that video? That's why our computers that, are so fast. That show where <laughs> they were interviewing the guy from Area Fifty One. He worked there or whatever, and he that showed he showed you this old footage of a piece of metal that they found from around there. And he was talking about this piece of metal like it was nothing they had ever seen before because, yeah. you know, it like reshaped itself sometime or whatever or did something. It, it looked like a piece of foil. Yeah, you but could it crumple it up foil. into a ball, set it down, and it would reshape itself back out flat. Flat. Yeah. Wow. Right? Without without even having any assistance. That is cool. And there wouldn't be wrinkles or anything in it. Right. But you could see the tear lines from where. It came happened. off the yeah, yeah. Where it came off the ship from the crash. The, the thing is with that, I'm thinking nanotech, and that's why, you know, that's why later on during this '80s, you started hearing about nanotech because they finally was able to break or, the code and figure out what it was. Or maybe that's where that uh, that that Star Trek idea came from, where they they built the tank on the. Uh, the one enterprise when they brought the whale back from the past. Transparent aluminum? Uh, transparent aluminum. I mean, maybe that really is something that does exist, and that's what that was, because, Could you know, be. you don't really see them, and then there's the technology of, uh, what do they call it, like a cloaking device. Mm -hmm. That would make well, sense, because it's like aluminum. We and, do have, uh, we it, do have. It kind of uh, does like the mirror, you know, like a thousand, you know, it makes like a reflection all around yeah. the ship to reflect everything that it's, you know, to make it look like it's not there. Yeah, pretty much. Well, in a way, that's that's kind of uh, I mean, a cloaking the theory. Thing. In a way, Samsung kind of did that too with a semi. They put cameras on the front of the semi and um, screen kind of set up on the back of the semi. Yeah. And the cameras are uh, filming whatever's in front of the semi and showing it on the screen to the back right. of the semi. So it kind of hides the semi from view. Really? So you can see what's in front of that semi. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Samsung already did that. But still. But that's kind of the technology and the, the way well, that right. works. Yeah. The cameras capture what's next to the ship and then produce... Well, that, an image on the other side. Of the that would that would explain so, why that metal would have to so do what, what would happen. Dead. What would happen with with uh, our current technology, knowing what we know, to do a cloak of an entire ship like that, you would need a camera and projection system. In other words, you'd need enough cameras on all parts of the ship to be able to film 360 degrees in front back everywhere around the ship but yet have also projector system that would be able to project the image out from the ship and that's all you're going to see is what's on the other side of the ship but unless that ship. metal so, does something spectacular and never know. kind of blends in like never a know. chameleon and you wouldn't see shit either right well that's the thing, but I'm saying I'm not saying that technology. I'm saying with, with right, right, the current right. technology, with what we we've have, got, yeah. I mean, it, you know, that's yeah. what you'd have to do. You'd have to use something similar. Well, that's like that's why they're redoing a bunch of crap in fucking Hollywood. Oh, we got better technology now, so we're just going to re yeah. rehash a bunch. Yeah, of we're going to rehash. We're going to rehash a piece of shit that that didn't make it. 
you know, See, or we're gonna we're gonna rehash a great movie, but we're we're gonna do a better job in the graphics and stuff. Or how about this? How but about but this the storyline's gonna suck. How about this one for you? You ready to hear this one? I don't know if you guys knew about this. Remember the the show Fantasy Island? The plan, the plan, the yeah. plan. Did you know they're, they're yeah, uh, I saw that. They're making a movie called Fantasy Island. Wasn't there a horror. show? They wasn't there a show that. called that? It's yeah. a horror. Fantasy Island. Was it, yeah, it had Mr. Rourke on it. And, and the little the movie they are making. Yeah, but but the guy is was, a horror. The guy that was most besides the midget, Fantasy the guy that they ran that movie oh. was uh, the. Uh, how can they do that? How can they take the name Con. of a popular Star, uh, Star show and make it into a horror movie? They're fucked. They're fucked. They're stupid. The, uh, you know, isn't that wrong? I mean, that, isn't that kind of copyright? No. no. The Hollywood they can purchase all kinds of shit. They can purchase the rights to anything as long as they got enough money in it. No, they're so. not. You know, That's wrong. It's like. That is wrong. It is that, wrong. That, that, because that, I would have saw that Hollywood name. Hollywood wouldn't like it. Annoying because I, I used to watch that show every week. I know. All the time. And I would have watched that movie, and I would have had nightmares. Just saying. Because I'm Fantasy Island, to me, is, is, is that island where people's dreams come true. Yeah. And, and I remember the little guy saying, system. The plane! The plane! <laughs> yeah. There's one. There's another news story I found. Where'd it go? This one says Cult of Weird. Yeah, this is on his Cult, Cult of Weird of website. Weird. All right. Alaskan Rocks. Yeah, you can now own a piece of this 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 cursed place. Cursed place. Cursed place. What is this cursed place called? Alaskan Rocks for, for sale. sale. Own a piece of Alistair Crowley's house. Mr. Crowley. And it's it's not the Crowley from Supernatural. Um I mean that would be kinda cool. Who is Alice King of King of Hell? Who Crowley is Alistair Crowley? Alistair Crowley, I'm getting to that. He's gonna this tell you. fits in. Alistair Crowley is the most evil man in the world. Yeah, he was considered what did one he of do? the most evil men in the world. He used to summon demons. He, including kind of like a warlock. He summoned, he summoned suppose, allegedly he summoned the 12, 12 kings of hell, including Lucifer. There it is, himself. right here. I found that. Kind of like a All warlock. Right. It's today. It's if just, you believe in today, those. the place is nothing but charred ruins. Okay? Charred, charred, rubbly ruin. And, that kind of makes selling sense. Selling the rot, the leftover rocks of the place is basically what's going on. Just to make money. Right. And All right. they are stupid rocks. All right, well, but it was owned by selling, what they call selling pieces of, of what's left of the house, right? Because it was a stone house, they're selling pieces that were left, and because of the, the background history. and history of it, oh. you can own a piece of the cursed house. Okay, I'm right. sorry, that sounds it's creepy. The wickedest, and there's a lot of people. He was called the yeah, wickedest. you would take it home and put it in now your listen, house, and you you'd have spirits coming after you. Here, here it is. I found a part of this article. He was the wickedest man in the world. Aleister Crowley, at the turn of the 20th century, conducted numerous black rituals, which some believe left Boliskin cursed. It has long been said that many of the 115 spirits that Crowley claimed to have conjured, which wow. included the 12 kings and dukes of hell, as well as Lucifer himself, are lurking within the walls of this place. Wow. I mean, you talk about somebody that's pure evil. That, that's, that's like pure yeah. evil right fucking there. You know something? Fuck owning a rock. I want his book. What book? His spell book. The book he wrote all those conjurings down in. Is it even around? Oh, wait. You know how much that would be now, worth? Here's right the reason. Oh, you want to know the reason lot. they're selling the rocks? Mm -hmm. All right. May still see new life. Uh, these formed the not for profit house foundation with the goal of restoring it to its original design. 
So they're raising money to. So they're this selling place. the rocks. So you're gonna get your name on a but rock that'll rocks, be in the house the that's that gonna be laid, rebuilt. That are laying around because they're gonna restore that place. Yeah, and then you'll get your name on a rock that goes onto the house, so that everybody can and see really who uh, contributed. The ante, offering the actual pieces of for sale on eBay. Wait, are you leaving us? You are purchasing one of the original stones of up to 400 grams and one bag of charred remains from the fire on July 31st, 2019 from the house. Oh, wow. So that fire just happened last year. Yeah. So how do you spell Alistair? A-L-I-S-T-E-R. And Crowley is C R O W L E Y. Actually, it's A L E I S. Yeah, A-L-T-E-R. I before E, except don't forget that rule. I before A-L-T-E-R. E, except that for C. C I S T E R. Whatever. I forget that fucking rule. I was never good at English. Mr. I slept Crowley. through most of English. Oh, I was never good at English. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't win no spelling bees. That's for fucking sure. Yep. 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 If it wasn't for Crowley in the Treasure House computer, of Images, I'd, I'd have a hell of a time. Or automatic spell Alistair check. Alistair Crowley now. original wa- wax recordings, LP new vinyl. Ooh. Alistair Crowley magic rock and roll. <laughs> and the wickedest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm seeing everything except for the rocks. Treasury of magical sheets. But wouldn't it be cool just to go out there? I mean, I, I don't even know where this place is right now. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's like someplace in the UK. <laughs> Dark Star Rising. Magic and power in the age of Trump. Scotland. It's in Scotland. It looks like. But wouldn't it be cool to go out there with some cool meters and stuff and take readings and stuff and and film and and, and to see what it was like at night, during the day and at night out there? I bet that'd be cool as fuck. You know, it's, it's just one of those things that... Okay, here we go. Here's the history of him. Uh, I found a Wikipedia page with the history of him. He was born Edward Alexander Crowley. The 12th of October, 1875. Holy cow. England. He was born in Worcester, England. Worcester? Or, sorry, Warwickshire, England. He passed away December 1st. 1947 at the age of 72 in East Sussex. Wow. And he's got college degrees. And he was married twice. Rose Edith Kelly and then Maria Teresa Sanchez. He has five children. Wow. <clears throat> he was an all. He was an English occultist, ceremonial magic poet, painter, novelist, and mountaineer. He founded the religion of Thelema, uh, identifying himself as the prophet entrusted with guiding humanity into the Aeon of Hours in the early 20th century. Yeah. A, pro, a prolific writer, he published widely over the course of his life. So the guy published. Mm-hmm. Born to a wealthy family in Royal <laughs> you know, Leamington we're... Spa, Warwickshire, he rejected his fa- his his parents. You know who he looks like, don't you? Fester. <laughs> I was just gonna say Fester Adams mm-hmm. from the original Black and White series. 
He rejected his parents' Christian Plymouth brethren faith to pursue an interest in Western esotericism. That's kind of a weird name. Uh, he was educated at Trinity College in Cambria. He again mountaineer, a mountaineering and poet. And that's where most of his attention went to. Um, is there a white fur ball down there, my feet? Yes, yes, there is. Fur ball is down there. She's in our in our heat's way. Is she sleeping? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, he was but, recruited into the British Intelligence Agency. Why would you want to, I still, why would you want to restore that place? Historic. If so much evil it's took place historic. there. Anyway, check this yeah. out. This was also last year. This was over Utah, all right? This, this, this was over Utah, okay? And, and this pilot filmed this cigar-shaped object in the sky from his cockpit. Okay. And this was over Utah last year. Check it out. What do you think of that? We're going to figure out how to get uh, this so that they can appear in the background. Yeah, somebody threw a frisbee in my ass. <laughs> that's pretty that's, fucking... That's way the hell up there, too. Yeah. He's, he's up there pretty far. Yeah, he's in like a fighter jet. It's, well, if you it's... look at the um, look at the terrain and, and the way it looks, then yeah, yeah, forty thousand feet. Well, can't you can't she bring that up on a different page over there and then? Yeah, I have throw to get that set up so that it, it'll do that later. Well, why aren't you doing it? Why, I don't why have why that set up. Now? I was gonna have that. You know, I he hasn't figured he hasn't he figured that remote. part out. I would have had that all that? figured out if it wasn't for all the fucking audio problems. Oh, we've been what? Other, otherwise, I could bring it up on this other screen, I and actually I actually could... did a little homework this week before our show, and I had this in here last night you or this morning, booking, bookmarking some of this stuff before we started today. So I had my bookmarks up over here. Yeah, he had he had his laptop on his uh, on his lap and almost dropped yeah, it because I was sitting over there using my computer because that's where I saw this stuff and I was putting it over here so that I could bring it over here and bring it up. Oh, joy. You know, I mean, I first saw that that that, that story like last week when we were talking about the, the one virus we were going to talk about and I said, well, I got a couple other subjects for that too, but still, I'm still fucking spooked about the fucking aliens talking to me and the UFO shit that happened to us. Jo joy day. keeps moving the camera by the way, guys. Shit, man. Yeah, we got a little white fur ball underneath the table, and she keeps bumping the camera stand. <laughs> She's actually laying in between the legs. Really? Yes. Little She's bitch. got her head by one leg, her feet by the other leg. It was taken over Zion, Zion National Park in the U.S. state. Obviously, Utah, it said. Mm -hmm. Shows the strange white object making its way across the sky. Its shape appears much like a cigar or even a tic tac, matching dozens of similar sightings over the past few months. Given the altitude of the craft, it's difficult to see how fast it's traveling. The clip was taken back in two th September 2019, but the footage only surfaced yesterday after being posted by a YouTube channel, Tales from Out There. So the YouTube channel you can find this on is Tales from Out There. They were the original people that posted this video about this uh, cigar-shaped object that appeared in over Utah, over what was that Zion National Park. You know, and they were forty thousand feet in the air. See, I told you he was up there. Always. Well, yeah, forty thousand feet. Forty thousand feet in the air, and it was taken from uh, the video recording is taken from a cockpit. At 40,000 feet of an object flying at a lower altitude over the terrain. So he was up and it was, it must have been like a camera on the plane underneath, you know, how some of those jets have that camera that's yeah, mounted underneath. 
because it was below him, he said, to have an object flying at a lower altitude over the terrain. So he was above it. So you're looking down on this video. That's why you see the terrain, the, the, the mountain terrain yeah. and stuff. Yeah, he was at 40,000 feet. He was well below, above the mountains and stuff there. You know, yeah. Considering most mountains probably in Utah range, what, probably 5,000 feet or so? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I've never lived around mountains. They could have been around five, 6,000 feet. Depends on that mountain range where he says in it. It doesn't Zion specify. National, it's just, Zion, yeah, Zion Park, National Park, Park in the, in Utah. So, and I'm not sure exactly where I that park is in Utah, this. so. Because I want to read through this later. But I, I've seen all of this. I, I, I bookmarked because I, I get these, I see these stories and stuff like this from this one in my mailbox and this this website here the the daily star out of uk and um this one called cult of the weird i mean uh, they got some weird shit in here i tell you if you just look at the weird news page yeah well i'm, I'm thinking i want to that he has. Who has? I was going to they say, there, there's some from 1899, I, know. I noticed. But you were looking at it too? I was looking at the eBay because I was, I was looking up the rocks. Uh -huh. And all that came up were his books. <laughs> so. Yeah, it'd be interesting to get some copy of this. This one, the one that books was from 1899, from huh? there were... Two different ones. One was for six hundred dollars, and one was for three hundred and forty-five. Yeah, but why would you want books from a guy that was dubbed what he was dubbed? You know, the wickedest man in the world. I mean, that's like wanting to read a book okay. that Charles Manson. Are you wrote thinking there might be some j bad juju with those he's books? He's not. He's not. Understand? Is he? That's that's why I don't like. No, you want to sit there. He wants to sit there. He yeah, wants to sit because there. he doesn't quite understand. What he saying, wants to sit there and get his hands on the book so he can spirit, uh, conjure the spirits himself. <laughs> no! No, he's you gotta realize fucker. what I've been through. He's a crazy fucker. I he wants to sit there and conjure them himself. He's like, yeah, I'll do that. And possibly maybe find something See? that I can Told with. ya. He's a sick fucker. <laughs> I mean, anybody, oh, next thing we'll know, he's going to be opening up a gate in his this, apartment. This, I, I would have, <laughs> you know, I've known that this and we guy, won't see him for a while. I've known that he's been a sick fucker for years. <laughs> I had to be extremely careful when going and visiting his house, and he's down in the basement because that's where he was all the time. That's where his computer was. Um, that was probably the, the that little area there was probably the cleanest place in the house. Well, that, that, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not getting into that right now, but I'd always have to be careful going down there because you never know what the motherfucker was watching. Oh, so you had to tiptoe down the steps and, and kind of peek around. Oh, you didn't he want to tiptoe down the steps. I had to announce announced that I was coming down the steps to make sure he wasn't sure watching. I wasn't watching consumption that junction was... or junction or whatever. There was the a, there was was a called. website. Sick fucking website. That was called Sick motherfucker. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> there was a website that was called Consumption Junction. Okay. It had everything on it. It was, and I weird. literally mean everything. There's a parody video on there of a husband and wife talking about doing some role play, and this was during Bush's administration, Bush Jr. Mm -hmm. And he's over by the closet looking through all their different costumes and stuff. You know, uh, well, honey, you want to be the milkmaid and I can be the cow tonight? Or you want to, I'll be the mailman you be the housewife? Uh, no, no. Hey, I know. How about I be George George Bush and you be the country? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then they're screwing on the bed. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you real good. And she's like, oh, yes, George, give it to me. Give it to me. And it's like, it's funnier and shit. And I actually have it on one of my other hard drives. 
<laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> or, yes. or a video taken from a street camera in Thailand. Dude swerving in and out of traffic with his girlfriend on the back of the bike. And she flies off. The she back falls back. off the back of the bike. She's wearing a helmet. The that's, fucking semi runs over her head. That's stuff like you see on Inhumanities, but that's not the sick oh. fucking shit I was talking about. But anyway, or Boomhouse. Boomhouse. I have that video. We don't want to gross out our audience, okay? I'm not grossing anybody out. Boomhouse is a house that has Christmas lights all over it, and they're flashing to. Um, uh, Siberian orchestras, uh, that, that fast one they do. So what do you think of this? SpaceX is illegal fleet of 5G, 5G satellites wipe out, out life, life on, on Earth. Earth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Activists say that 12,000 new satellites, which were approved without environmental checks, will envelop the atmosphere in a harmful radiation that could threaten our existence. That's what they're saying. The five G the five G has been considered to be a threatening radiation anyway. And our government or see again I say our government. Well no, it's researchers, um, the, scientists. <clears throat> you're not listening. Yeah, I get it. The government put them up there. The government actually approved it without extensive research and that's a problem yeah 4g is bad enough 4g causes enough problems yeah now they're linking the 5g now you phones got 5g's to cancer too yeah uh, but didn't they do that to cell phones when they first they came did out? that with cell phones when they first came out and that would be the proximity to the head because you're doing this. Well, you got to glue to the fucking now head don't. nowadays. Now, no, now like, you don't. Now you no, they're like this. You got to glue the fucking thing to their hand, connect. put in headphones, and, and they're sitting there like this, typing and texting to the same person that's in the same fucking room across their thing from them <laughs> because they can't talk anymore. They forgot how to talk. We're going to text now. We forgot how to talk. Did you yeah. get that? Yeah, but you can think. I just texted you. Now get and that. Now, but, now yeah, for, cars, no more. And now there's cars. There's cars that have Bluetooth in them. These, you can think the reverse engineering of the, well, of the spacecrafts. Really? That's there's, how we got these. This is what the... And you know what? Here's, here's something that's really fucking weird, okay? You know, this, this little device right here that I'm holding in my hand? Mm -hmm. This phone. This is the G7 or the S7 from Samsung. Okay, This phone is more powerful than this computer. How is that? Because this phone has a faster processor and more RAM than this fucking computer has in it. How is that? Technology. Technology. It advances that fast. So they're making things bigger and smaller packages. Oh yeah. Make they always more have powerful been. and smaller packages. That's been the, the about, motto. Here, think about this. If you, you wanna, want something that that can that can uh, run an entire household, well, and be big enough to put in your well, hand. Well, they've like already had that. The house of Xanadu right did there. that. You know, pretty right much there. was the first concept of that. One of the first concepts of a house running everything. You know what? Won't you have a Twinkie? Show me. No, here. Listen. <laughs> think about how big. When a laptop first came out, how big and heavy these things used to be. Yeah. Well, here's I mean, a good comparison as as is right now with the laptop I got set in here and the one he's got set in here. This one here is an older model than this. This one, you can see, is thicker. No. Hey, here's your side profile. It's thicker. And, and this it's folded thickness. up is still thinner. Turn yours around to put side by side. Fucking thickness in, in, in the lids comparison. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You know, well, look at this you device. Here. Did you take this and wipe your ass with it? Yeah. Well, I, I told you Scott Tissue was going to come in today and visit you. He <laughs> knows all the assholes. Scott Tissue. I know Scott Tissue. That ain't <laughs> Scott Tissue. See? See? <laughs> he knows Scott Tissue. He knows all the assholes. But anyway, and then there's this. Look at this. And and yeah. and I thought just. But this, that's the funny part. Okay, this is just a little Kindle Fire, thing, and this motherfucker this thing, can this sit thing, there and, and talk back to me. 
Because yeah. it's got here's, built in Alexa. But here's the funnier part about this. This thing isn't even as powerful as this. No, but this is just a tiny little one. I mean, they've got them big, bigger and better than this, too. But what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, all of that this is, is even smaller than that. Thing. And this is so, even faster and more more stuff it can do than this does. And, and 20 years ago, there was no such thing as these or... Or the laptops. Nope. Actually, the laptops back then were like super huge, and the batteries were even really. And heavy. computers took up a whole room. Oh, that was even further back. Oh, back in the '60s when they were they were uh, developing the rockets to trying to put a man on the moon for the first time. One IBM computer would take up an entire room, about almost the size of your trailer. Yeah. And that was just one computer, just to just to calculate. The mathematical solutions to the problems that they had at at the time. Right now, this little device here can calculate that and more. Yeah. Right. I mean, now, desktops I, were bigger and heavier and bulkier yeah. and junkier. Actually, now, look, desktop, they have those all-in ones that are just the monitors. Well, yeah, yeah. those are pieces of but, shit. So. But desktops now are, are kind of stayed the same. They've just gotten. The interiors have gotten faster, yeah, and yeah. more well, more powerful, and and, and the, looks the on thing the outside is, get though, nicer looking, right? Well, the looks on know. the outside, you get more curves, more more angles, more you know. Yeah, because cool they weren't all to, like a square like, thing that you set. But, but the thing is, with know. with the desktops, okay, the interior gets redesigned, the exterior gets a facelift. But the interior also has to be redesigned to be placing more fans inside of it as well because the smaller your components get and the faster they get, the more the heat they get, hotter they, they get, the, the more they heat get. they generate. That's what so I just said. got to get rid of that heat because heat is a computer's Where's death sentence. Parents? Yeah. That is a computer's death sentence. Oh, well, yeah. You know, if your computer overheats, you're gonna fry out that motherboard. And here, here again, computer or even be a computer tech. These, even with the desktops, phones, your tablets, everything, including these things right here that we're using right now. This this camera, you can thank the backwards engineering of an alien spacecraft. That's where everything that we've yeah. got right and now. Everything's got a fucking camera in it nowadays. That, the, everything that's technology based, that's that's fast like these, that's where most of it came from. Thank God, thank God they didn't have this technology when we were kids. There'd be so much stupid shit we did when we were young that would be on <laughs> fucking record. Do you realize? You realize how stupid our with, nation would be? Everybody if they walking had this around. Everybody. When we were kids? Everybody walking around with a fucking camera. Oh my God! No, if we had this Jack technology, would have been like personified. If we had this technology when we were kids, we'd be even more stupid than we are right now. Oh yeah, but the generations are getting more and more stupid as the okay, technology people. gets smarter. We're actually, com- actually, we're coming up believe, on an hour. Okay. Actually, I believe <clears> the millennials <throat> are actually going to be the ones that are going to drag us out of all this mess. They're going to be the ones that are going to be smart about things. No. All right. Now, before we go, I have something I need to say. Uh-oh. Okay. That's and You guys I already talked to you about. And I want to get the word out on this because this is something that's going to be extremely important come October. I don't know how many people who watch this are familiar with what they're calling the real ID. I don't have one yet, but up here in this corner, in this corner up here, you're going to have a star that's there instead of whatever's there. And this is not just for the state of Wisconsin. This is for the entire nation. They are the the officials, the government officials that are, that are uh, toting the line on this are saying that it is because that you're going to need it to fly domestically or to fly at all. And um, if you don't have it, then you're not going to get on that plane unless you produce a passport and a birth certificate, I think it is. So that's how they're saying this is going down, what it's going to be used for. Uh But I am here right now, here, 1st of February, or yes, 1st of February, 
2020 talking about this real ID and I'm telling you what's going to happen is if you do not have this when you go to vote in November you're not going to be able to vote you're not going to be able to vote they will either turn you away or they'll hand you a piece of paper that is a provisional ballot that and, never gets counted and the thing is say, you got to use this and at the same time, the thing is, they're not making this publicly known. To and them. they are not making it publicly known. That this is changing. That's because they don't. They, they want to make well, it to nobody. To suppress voter. Now they do have. They do have. Um, <laughs> I'm vote. sorry, we're not. We're supposed to take this on a political rant, but this is kind no, of no. This, this is, is a very. This is very important, and people are not yeah. understanding, and they're not seeing it. Well, maybe we. And I know we shouldn't do. I know we shouldn't do policy or politicals in this because that's something we don't do anymore we did before and we pissed too, too many people off and that's that's something we don't want to do but it is really really important this is really important yeah. because i am not kidding you okay yes they are saying it's because they want to make sure that, the, that you can fly and all this other stuff yeah, but the whole thing the, the is thing, you know, for years terrorism years they have been trying to suppress the vote because they yeah. know that the more people that get out there and vote, the less they win. Yep. And this they is the Republican side well, of they, the party. They is they is okay. not the Republican. It's those secret societies that's running the fucking government that these Republicans are part of. So we can play their game for a little bit. Get that damn real ID. Make sure that you're going to be able to vote. Make sure that once you get that real ID, you check the voter ro rolls and make sure they haven't kicked you off of it. Make sure you're, you are registered in. That way you can vote. That way your and voice can be heard. I'm not telling you which way to vote, and I don't give a shit which way you vote. But you'll be I able to vote. I just want you to be able to vote. Yeah. And I know for a fact... Don't let them take your gonna, rights away. Yeah. I know for a fact that's what this is all about. Don't let them take your rights away. Your you know, rights away. The government's you are to part take... of this country. You're you're a citizen of the United States, here, here. and our our United States has a democracy, and our democracy is starting to fucking. And, and they're trying to take they're trying to take more and more rights away from you, and bring us down, because they don't want us to realize that that some of the system's fucking busted and needs to be fixed, especially the electoral college, because. They should be, they should be like, the president should be like anybody else, win by popular vote, not some fucking rigged system. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's I all agree. I got to say on that. Otherwise, I'm going to go on a big rant. But no, and, 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 and we don't want to go on a rant, okay? We really don't want to go on a rant. And I don't want to be you know, pushing anybody's buttons, and I don't want to piss anybody off. But the whole thing is, it's very important. That's why I'm saying it. That's why I'm telling people. And I, and I hope people who do watch this pass this on to friends and family members and make sure that they know that they need to get this done because it, it's it's part of their damn game to suppress the vote I, I, all right and, let's stop and it, I just and want it we'll just do I a just special bonus show be, just on that and put right. it out there like a special alert or something so, Maybe. and if i if i upset anybody or piss anybody off because i said anything about this go fucking pair of testicles no don't apologize no, go I do. for I apologize. fucking pair of testicles this fucking country's gone fucking soft. I'm sorry. That's just it. This I agree. fucking country's gone I agree. soft. The we people have, are getting this offended entire by too country, fucking much. This entire country has turned into a nation of snowflakes. I mean, comics can't even be comics nowadays snowflakes. without offending somebody. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, comics are, are even afraid of uh, out there uh, of doing their fucking routines because they're afraid of offending some fucking group or some fucking person. And they Fuck shouldn't be. No. They should be able to do their routines no matter what because it's not it's like they're actually joke. picking on certain people. You know, it's just part of their routine. Everybody's entitled to their right, to their opinion. You know, something funny happens. You know, you got to have a sense of humor. Fucking laugh about it. Laugh about yourself. Laugh about, you know, fucking comedy and laughter. It, it, it's the best fucking medicine. Get rid of the fucking hate. But that's all I got to say about this. So if you like what you see or you like what you hear, Follow us, watch us, share us with your friends. Check us out, www.utterlyinsaneproductions.com. Tell your friends, subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you shop on Amazon, use the link at the top of the page to help us grow. Oh, and just so you know, if you use um, AVG, um, the AVG browser, it doesn't show up. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll it's... show up on... on uh, Mozilla uh, 
um, it should show my, so, my so so far each other standard it'll show browsers. up on eat on the, the Internet Explorer and it'll show up on the, the uh, Google, Google Chrome. Chrome. But the AVG, which is it looks like Google Google Chrome, but for some reason it blocks it and I can't figure out how to unblock it. That's because it's tied into the AVG anti virus okay. thing. Yeah. Thank you for listening. This Thanks has been utterlyinsaneproductions.com. Bye.